G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Fucking Play Hitman. Today we're back in Sapienza, and our target once again is corrupt politician Marco Abiati. So let's not waste any more time and get right down to business, shall we? We'll kick things off in a similar way to last time by jogging through the party, up the stairs, and across the courtyard towards the bathroom on the right of the morgue, where we'll pick ourselves up some conveniently placed rat poison and then turn and leave the area. We'll then continue down the street towards the stage, before taking a sharp left and making our way up the populated main street towards the market square. Upon arriving at the main square, we'll continue to jog across the courtyard and head towards a bathroom area on the other side. As we get closer, a security guard pops out for a smoke, so we'll take this opportunity to duck inside and slip some rat poison into his unattended coffee sitting on the table. Most of the time we should be able to pull this off without any trouble, but there was this one occasion where one of the chatty cunts by the hand basin was a bit too observant for his own good. Do you have a problem, sir? Hey. What's this guy's problem? He's not a friend of yours. Answer me when I'm talking to you. Hey, we're not animals in the zoo throwing our shit around. You out of your mind? Anyway, once we've discreetly poisoned the gentleman's coffee, we'll grab the soda can from the table, pick up the two coins by the vending machine behind us, and then inconspicuously stand at said vending machine while we wait for the security guard to fall for the trap. Ah yes, it's coffee time. There's nothing quite like the warm and creamy flavour and texture of a freshly brewed cup of- <laughs> Now that we've taken care of the security guard, we'll stuff him in the nearby linen basket and then pick up the toilet door key from the floor. We'll then exit the bathroom and casually walk over to the adjacent one where we'll use the key to unlock the door. After pressing up against the wall, opening the door and taking a peek inside, we can see a man cowering behind a trash can in the corner. This man happens to be a lawyer that Mr. Abiati is very interested in meeting with, but clearly, the feeling isn't mutual. So let's see if we can't convince the lawyer to allow us to go in his place. Come on, man! Stop hiding like a pussy! Be, be a man! Go out there and tell the bastard that you won't be intimidated! You can do it! Wow! A coin! My god! This is a sign! A message from fate telling me that everything is going to be just <laughs> After coercing the lawyer's cooperation, we'll dump him in the nearby linen basket and strip him of not only his clothing, but his fucking wig as well. Then, we'll exit the bathroom and make our way back outside, where we'll take a right and head down the pathway before coming to a stop at this door and having a quick chat with the two bodyguards posted outside. Well, look who we have here. Ciao, brav Walmart. We've been looking for you. After a brief exchange of dialogue, the bodyguards will unlock the door and begin to escort us inside and upstairs to the waiting room. But as soon as we're inside, we'll overtake them and jog up the next few flights of stairs to the office level where we'll casually slip past yet another bodyguard and then proceed up the next flight of stairs to the third floor. Here we'll lean up against the wall by the door and then open it to have a look inside. There's a bodyguard walking over to the open window to have a look outside. So we'll take this opportunity to walk inside, pick up the crowbar from the desk and... Well, you know. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. It's views like these that really make me love my- <clears throat> After taking out that dickhead, we'll drag him over to the crate on the other side of the room and dump him inside. We'll then shoot on over to the computer in the corner and disable the surveillance system. Now that we've destroyed the evidence, we'll walk over to the chandelier winch and place a remote explosive on the wall directly behind it. Now, with our trap in place, we'll head back downstairs and enter the waiting room. Sit. You need to back off now. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, all that we need to do is sit here and wait for Mr. Abiati to arrive. So while we have some time to kill, let's take a look at another way that we could have assassinated our target today. 
At the very beginning of the mission, we'll jog our way down the pathway in the centre of the courtyard, around the outside of the concert. Once we're across the courtyard, we'll quickly slip behind the truck on the right, jump over the rail, and sneak by the nearby stage crew members and security detail while their backs are turned. When we've reached the handy little hiding spot in the corner, we'll change into the nearby stage crew uniform to give ourselves a disguise. Once we've done that, we'll crouch down behind the van as we wait for the stage crew member just ahead to finish his cigarette and turn around. When he does, we'll casually make our way over to this flatbed and pick up a screwdriver from on top of these boxes. Then we'll duck backstage and expose a wire on the guitar pedal board just behind this awesome and totally not at all hazardous water feature. Once that's done, we'll quickly pop over to the rack case on the left and turn it off, which will force this otherwise lingering crew member to fuck off just long enough for us to increase the water pressure of the water feature, causing it to overflow. <laughs> Five seconds to decide which one. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Now that we've set our trap, we'll head back out to the same area as before where we notice our target having a rather aggressive conversation with a member of the stage crew. So let's switch on the microphone so that everyone can hear what he has to say. Oh, but uh, we, we have a problem with the, the, the stage. Kind, kind of potentially of dangerous. You must hear the tour. I, I need to that that be false. You get, get your act together or I'll crush, crush you! Marco, I think I'll let left the mic. Oh, okay! Oh, wow, Joey! That's on the audio right there! It was just Joe something. Something to be the opponent. Now that he's clearly pissed off the crowd, Mr. Abiati heads up onto the flooded stage to address them. Unfortunately for him, this is where it ends. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I know that you're pissed off, so I'll cut right to the chase. Insolent fools! Did you really think I gave a single fuck about any one of you? You're peasants! Fucking peasants, I say! And if you won't vote for me by choice, then I will personally see to it that each- <laughs> Fuck. He really doesn't seem to be too informed in the hazards of water and electricity, does he? Anyway, let's get back to Lawyer 47, who's still waiting patiently for his appointment. Eventually, a bodyguard will enter the room, frisk us for weapons, and then allow us into the office to meet with our target. As soon as we enter, we'll immediately take a seat so that we don't arouse any suspicion, and then listen to Mr. Abiati talk political bullshit for a while as we wait for the right moment to end him, which we can do in a couple of different ways. So, Salvatore. Will you stand with me? Or will I have to see to it that you're You know, that's a really nice chandelier you have there, Salvatore. It would be a shame if it were to come crashing. I couldn't give any less of a fuck, mate. Both of these methods are equally as effective as the other for assassinating Mr. Abiyadi in a silent assassin-like manner. But today, we were gunning for an entirely different kill method right from the start. Oi, cunt! Wanna see a magic trick? Well, I suppose that I could be tempted to- Hey! hey! Ta-da! I'll pass. Target down. Now head towards an exit. Okay, so now that we've eliminated our target, we'll dump his body in the nearby chest and casually exit the office. We'll then pass through the waiting room and head out into the stairwell, where we'll take the stairs all the way back down to the ground floor. After exiting the building, we'll jog our way back to the bathroom in which we knocked out the lawyer earlier and change back into our casual suit. Then we'll exit the toilet block, make our way to the exit point in the quiet back streets of Sapienza, and get the fuck out of here! Excellent work, 47. The money has been wired to your account. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes yet another episode of Let's Fucking Play Hitman. I hope that you had fun. As always, if you did, belt that fucking like button, let me know, it's always appreciated. We'll be paying one more visit to Sapienza in the coming week to assassinate Mr. Abiati one final time. But until then, ladies and gents, I'm getting the fuck out of here, and I'll see you guys next time.